Is the bridge when they figure out some sort of a neural interface? So instead of having these extraneous things, instead of having like a fan blowing at you or, all, you know, yeah. the, the ground moves a little bit, have everything happen inside your head? Well, you know, in terms of neural interfaces, there are two approaches to the problem, uh, roughly, right? There's the kind of jacket into your brain neural interface, and then there's the wrist-based neural interface thing that, you know, we, we showed you for Orion, the smart mm -hmm. glasses. Yeah. And I, I would guess that, you know, I think it's going to be a while before uh, we're really widely deploying anything that jacks into your brain. I think that there are a lot of people who don't want to be the early adopters of that technology. You want to, like, wait until that's pretty mature before you for get sure. that. I mean, for... I mean, that's basically going to get started in medical use cases, right? So if someone, like, loses sensation part of their body and now you have the ability to fix that. Like the first Neuralink patient. Yeah. yeah. So I, th I think you'll basically start with people who have pretty severe conditions who the upside is very significant before you start, like, jacking people in to play games better, right? Right. But a wrist-based thing, I mean, that's something, I mean, like, people wear stuff on their wrist all the time, right? So, um, and what we basically found there that doesn't do input to you, but it's good for giving you the ability to control a computer because basically you have all these extra neurons that go from your brain to controlling your hand. Your hand is like super complicated and there's actually all these extra pathways um, because for, for a bunch of reasons, I mean, neuroplasticity in case you like lose the ability to use one, they want to be able to have others. Um, so you want the redundancy because being able to use your hand is super important. So, in normal use, we've kind of all figured out some patterns of how we send signals from our brain to our hand. And um, I think the reality is there's like all these other patterns too that are unused today. So you can put a wristband on your wrist that can measure activity across these neurons. And today we're starting by basically measuring as you're doing, as you're like moving your fingers. But over a few versions of this we're going to get to is like, you won't actually even have to move your hand. You'll just like trigger these neurons in opposing ways. It's like you probably can't see right now. It's like I'm kind of flexing something in this finger and something here. So like it's not actually moving. But there's some signal that the neural interface wristband, if I were wearing it, could pick up. 